Hi everyone, so this is the second last of the 2023 pack for Circles. Unfortunately, I'm still stuck in a room with a five minute video um, limit, so sorry about that. Right, so it says the tangent to a circle is a line which just touches at one point uh, and is to the radius at that point. So it touches there, bing, and there's your radius. There, so the gradient is so the gradient of the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. At that point. That point. So the radius being the normal. I'll try to get rid of that box. So the T looks alright in the point. So perpendicular to the radius, the radius being the normal at that point. The normal to the circle is a line which is perpendicular to the, well that's just the gradient of the radius. So the gradient is the gradient of the radius at that point. Right, so it says tip. Always draw a diagram. That's quite true. So it says, um, so when I find the equation of the normal on the tangent, so we've got point P, which is minus 111, lies on the circle. Uh, so we know from this information here that the center of this circle is minus 47 and it has a radius of 5. So I can draw myself a little picture, can't I? I can draw myself a little diagram. So I wonder if I can put it in the... Where do we do it here? Do it here. So the centre is minus 4, 7. And the point I'm interested in is minus 1, 11. So minus 1, 11 will be up there somewhere, where is it? So that's the point P, minus 1, 11. I've got the tangent going that way. Now I think I think these are done the wrong way around. The tangent is the harder one to get. You have to do the work for the normal first before changing it into the tangent. Right, so, so it says use the point on the circumference and the circle. So I know my center is minus 4, 7, and I know the point P is minus 1, 11. So if I get the gradient, so that would be 11 takes 7 over minus 1 minus a minus 4. So the gradient, I'm just going to do all GCSE on it and do two lines there. So what's that going to be? Is that going to be 4 thirds, is it? Yeah, 4 thirds. Now I'm going to choose a point. On the edge. So that's P, uh, which was minus 111. Choose a point on the edge, don't choose a centre, because it could go a bit mad. It'll work on this one, but it doesn't work on the tangent. And I want the equation now, so it's Y minus 11 is 4 thirds X plus 1. And that is there, the equation of the radius passing through P. So now I'm going to do this one. I want the, the tangent. So I know that my radius, the M, is 4 thirds. So the gradient of my tangent is perpendicular to it. So it's minus 3 quarters. And that's passing through P, which is minus 111. So if I do the equation, it's Y minus 11 is minus 3 quarters X plus 1. There we go. Does it ask for it any other way? No. There. But you can see it's far better to work out the, the equation of the radius, the equation of the normal, before